Astral Ascent is an action roguelike slash roguelites with pixel graphics, two-dimensional. I'm just reading the tags on the damn page, but it really is that. It's beautiful pixel art in this game. Uh, really tight controls. It is a roguelike. It does have an uh, ongoing story. It plays, it feels a little bit like Hades. That kind of progression, right? Hades slash Dead Cells. They had a lot of voiceover content as well. Lots of voiceover stuff. So you feel like you're playing kind of a single player campaign with with all the, um, you know, all the bells and whistles and everything. But you're getting a roguelite kind of in the mix there. So I have two hours in, uh, five escape attempts, uh, game progress 7%. Some of these runs can go a little bit longer, right? So we'll see what this one does. But I did beat the first boss, which uh, is an astrological sign. All the main bosses are astrological signs. Here's where we start. Beautiful swelling music. Beautiful uh, everything. Is this guy gonna talk to me? Let me see. You get a little taste of the um, uh, of the voice over here. Karen, surprised to see you alive. How do you feel? Good. That last escape attempt was just practice, you know. Please, boy, be careful. Mm-hmm. So this is your hub. Think again, Dead Cells, Hades, right? This is your hub where you can go through, go through and uh, unlock upgrades and everything. You can see in the bottom middle screen, I have uh, uh, those are called like solar or sun drops or something. Uh, and I can use, I can spend those uh, on upgrades. Uh, there's a couple of upgrades I could go and get. So first, this is here the botanist. I can go through and spend some to upgrade my mana, for example, 250. It's a good chunk of that. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to this uh, uh, person over here. And this is where you can unlock, uh, I guess, spells and such that you can find in the uh, in a run. So if someone's ice spikes, moving forward, piercing enemies, I can unlock this. This is available for both characters. Well, there's four characters. I only have two unlocked right now. Uh, or you could go to their individual tree and unlock something specific for them. So, for example, with um, uh, her, I don't know her name. Uh, she's the main character. I just don't know her name. Uh, see, so throws a bomb downwards and explodes when it hits the ground. So this is a... Um, specific spell for uh, that class. So those knives on the ground and fan pattern. That's pretty cool. She's the assassin, by the way. So there's a lot of these are going to be like knives or vanishing or weird fast, fast stuff like this. And uh, you unlock these things again using uh, using some of your, your, your solar or whatever currency that you collect when you play. We're getting all this stuff knocked out now because I have no idea how long the run's gonna be. So you gotta know how the hub works first. So over here, I have some more upgrades. I uh, see this one, oh, sorry, these are not upgrades. These are actually where you could go to collect based off of your exploration, uh, different or uh, more more uh, uh, currency. So let's go ahead and see exploration. Which one is it? Uh, that one gives me, uh, gives me some. That one gives me a lot. Yeah, I'm walking a lot. Uh, elements buffer, it's the itinerant uh, peddler 12. And this one is Treasure Hunter Chest Open. Really close to unlocking that as well. Looks like I have a couple more. We'll just go scroll right down. Collect all of these. Go back to the top. Ooh. Return. Let's see. Got quite a few. Nice. Then go back. Let me see. What else do we have? Flower Power. What is this? Uh, abilities unlocking the Zim Zim. Okay, we did that. Great. And then we got Guardian Angel, which is to be saved by... <laughs> I jumped off the edge of the uh, hub. <laughs> and it saved me. Uh, let's see. And there's one more, I think, over here. Yeah, one more. Go to the bottom. What is this one? A Battle Enforcer. Uh, Elite Foes Defeated 2. All right. So we're getting somewhere. 1,653. That's a lot. We're going to spend some of that. <laughs> that's a lot of currency. Whoops. Oh, that's right. I forgot we got the dragon. Barbecue is his name. Uh, and he unlocks himself too. Summon Sphere Shield periodically up to three ones. Let's go and get that. And then we have to wait for the next one to go back. We're rich. So we can get them all, right? Zoom. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. More power. Uh, see, slots for aura increased by one. Those are pretty great. Let's go and get that. This one is uh, extra reward available in, 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 in the first room of each world. Currently up to world one. And this is mana up. Raise your mana. Spam, spamming mana abilities is great. So we're going to get that. Uh, let's go and get this. Spend all money. This, this. There we go. All right. Now all of our currency is gone. All gone. We can click on this person here. This is where we go to change characters if we want to. But we're not going to. Uh, right bumper here. And we get swooped on in. to our first run. Our first and potentially our only run. The air is so fresh. All right. So light speed fist is our first ability here. Now if I unlock the other. Um, wait. Did I unlock that thing? If I unlock something else, then I would be able to get one more than one here. Uh, you start off with four of the same spells. Bottom left corner, you can scroll through them if you want, but they're all the same. We're going to, want to replace one for now. You end up, you're going to end up like managing your spells as you go through. And then the one that we leave on the ground here, we're actually going to right, hold down right uh, a bumper, oops, to sell it. 
Um, oh, we can start with the Pablo's Feather, huh? Okay, interesting. So we're gonna not- this is just basically increases your, your spell level, and every spell as it's sort of there gives you 20% uh, more damage. So we're gonna upgrade this, our Lightning Fist, just to make it, uh, you know, better, right off the bat. And let me see. Ooh. That's our regular attack, our default attack. And this is see salvage. You can salvage spells. Yes, yes, yes. You get like a tip every time you walk by that guy. And this is where the roguelite stuff kind of kicks in, right? You can choose which direction you want to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go uh, Pavel's Feather. Let's get another feather. Let's try to stack and see if we can get some uh, good upgrades, good damage on one of these spells here. Since we started off with one, we might as well try to continue. Some of them actually give you up uh, like plus one, plus two, and up to plus five, I think I saw, I've seen. Cute little characters. Charming music, great pixel arts. What is that? Uh, oh, Sim Sim's uh, memory fragment. All right, that's probably gonna unlock another uh, another stack of uh, solar currency. That was a health thing we just picked up. You can see that in the right trigger slot down at the bottom, bottom left. Let's break open this box here. Those things explode. So let's. Uh, bam! There we go. Now these things are awesome, because watch. Chain them together. Do some good damage there. Attack boost! Oh. Good. Let's keep going. Before we run out of time. Huh. All these cutesy little animals. Whoop their ass. <laughs> nice. And there we got what? Another feather, plus one. Oh, just plus one. Lame. Well, there we go. Plus two now. Now it's a little bit stronger. 20%, 40% stronger than when we first started out. Let's go through here. Uh, we're going to get a gambit. Gambits are upgrades you could do to your specific spells, like augments to spells, triggers. When spell is cast, 20% chance to do blank kind of thing, right? Bounce on this mushroom, do a little bit of damage there. Oh. Come here. This guy's cool. <laughs> it's like a modern piranha plant. Treasure hunter. Ooh, that's another uh, another set of solar. Boom. Uh, blast that. And that's health. We don't need. You spend crystals to get health. You. This one's rare. Ooh, ooh, it is. Mythic. Add two stacks of random effect on hits. Let's add that to our... Let's add it to the light speed fist. Hmm. Then we'll go. Where Let me see. Ooh, what is this thing? Challenge room. Oh, I haven't seen one of these before. Every once in a while, you get like a, you know, random room like this. Come oh. over here. We need to talk. Oh, okay. This is your first boss that you fight. He showed up. Yes. Wait. Were we supposed to meet? Listen, boy. <laughs> I don't think you've got a chance to get out of here. Prove me wrong. Now. All right. I've already beat him once, so. You know I can't resist. Win my challenge and I'll join you. No way. For reals? Is that how we unlock this character? But wait, we, we fight him in the first, the first, what? Destroy every flying dummy without touching the ground. Oh. Do that and you'll get... My respects. Destroy targets, do not fall into the flames. Oh, what? Every time you attack something, you get a, you get a... A free jump. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I hope you're not a sore loser. No! Oh, lame! I mean, it's probably one of many. Oh man, I probably would unlock this thing. Oh, it's so painful! <sighs> we need we need currency. Let's get some currency. Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> All right, let's keep going. Yep, yep. Further and further. Okay, we got a tree. Move speed. Let's not let's not let's not waste it. God. <laughs> I was so good at that too. What happened? Jeez. Nope. Get up. Oh yeah. Thought oh, it takes too long. <laughs> 
what is this thing? Hidden Yali. Oh, hey. Hidden Yali discovered. Ooh. Then we also get some gems. And then we choose to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Oh, this guy. There, I'll do him. Alright, let's see. Uh, the Void. This is a fight also. It's a mini boss fight, so we could use this to unlock more solar. What is it actually called? <laughs> I get called the wrong oh, thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What does it show you? <laughs> Here we go. Another Taurus. It is a Pegasus, rather. Now you have just enough iframes with your dodge that you can uh, usually dodge those things. Gotta slow it down a little bit. Whoa! Damn. Yeah, I gotta delay that. My oh movement. Like that, basically. Oh my gosh, so far. Yeah, we got it now. We got the timing. Yep. Now we have some heals we could spend. We have three out of five. We could spend it now and get 30 health. Or... Uh, or we can save until we get five and get a larger heal boost. And we're not worried about it for this guy, so... You know. What do I get? Big old chest. Right, my bar! Cool! I need it back. Nice. Lots of stars. Our star difficulty adds to our star currency. There's a lot of currency in this. Uh, see, I rush toward the ground, create an explosion, dealing extremely massive damage. Uh, heroic Gambit, 75% chance to apply two pacification. Pass, pass, pacification. <laughs> Target deals 5% less damage per stack. And then unlock a Gambit slot. So, let's go get a ground pound. We're going to swap out to one, one of our basic abilities, of course. And then we'll grind up our basic ability that we don't need anymore. We'll get the quartz out of it. And then we're going to go to slots. And we're going to pick that up. Uh, I see light speed fist. We've already upgraded. So let's go ahead and add another slot to that. But I don't know if I necessarily put this in the heroic gambit. No, 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 no. We'll put this into um, like here. There we go. There we go. Our ground pound. Let's try out a ground pound here. We can actually uh, switch. Uh, let me see. How do I do it? There's a way to switch spells without activating them. Better. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Left bumper. <laughs> I don't even waste all my stuff. I need mana. Oh, fine. Oh, it takes two for that. Oh, it's a twofer. Hmm. Okay. This is the boss, huh? Oh, Pavel's ruins. Oh, oh, more upgrades. Yeah, let's go. I can't pass up these upgrades, man. Faster, harder, better, stronger. I just fell off edge. <laughs> what is this? A plus one? God, it's junk. Junk. We'll add it to the one that we're, we're currently working on. And then we're going to sacrifice a little bit of health for uh, another one. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop plus it. one, because we're greedy. We're so greedy. We're going to do it one more time. There we go. Oh, we got plus two this time. Yeah, greed. Bam. All right, now that's strong. And we can't afford it anymore because we're 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 hurting for health. Uh, let's see. Andromeda's bar. We might get lucky. Andromeda bar. Uh, it requires. Yeah, it requires stars. We have eleven stars, so we might be able to get some upgrades here. Looking for something to drink? I am, actually. Attack speed, attack speed. Okay, so neither one of these is going to help me. Let's see if hopefully this next one is max life. Yes, there we go. And that gives me a little bit of health. And then we're good. That's it. Thank you so much, friend. Oh, oh, hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, this will refill my uh, healing shards. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's do it. And then should we use it or should we wait? Maybe we get lucky and we'll get some actual health. Uh, some more, some more Palos feathers. I want that plus five really bad. Let's keep going. Really bad. Oh, oh, baddies. No. Oh. Uh, 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 ground pound. Oh, does good work. Oh. No. Oh. oh, got me anyways. Oh, we got key. Oh, I thought we had keys. Ah, blow up, did it? Okay, no keys. No keys? No keys. Okay. 
Oh, we can't pick up keys in here, so uh, that's pretty much it for that. <laughs> for that unlock. Got some health. Run, what is this? Ah, it's the key! Nice. Okay, we just got a healing shard. Let's go and use it. See, huge boost. Huge boost when you use the, uh, when you use the maxed out. So healing level plus one. God! <laughs> just a waste! But this one's gonna be so strong. Also, go for an achievement, too. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for getting a whole lot of those. Uh, see, Peddler, we have a lot of money, so we're not gonna go to the merchant. We're gonna go get some more quartz. Back up to 11 stars in case we go see Andromeda again. Andromeda's bar. Further further. We... we should probably kill more dudes. If anything, just to collect more of anything. <laughs> Whoa! Nope. Nine. Punch that. Get some more. 79. And yeah, we need these gems, man. Let's hit this. Bam. 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 Ground pound. I love that it throws you up in the air first, which is kind of nice. Nope. I don't actually know if you can kill that thing. I haven't really stuck around long enough to find out. Oh, more keys again! And that one. Get all these dudes! Nice. That kind of worked out. Yeah. 100. Okay, so now we're good. Now we're getting some money. Oh, hey, another uh, Hinyali. Alright, thanks for Uloon. I don't know what that means, but hey. More quartz. And then we're out. Ooh, what is this thing? Cetus Cavern. Oh, this is a new one. Uh, I see, I've seen it once. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then we go over here. Now we have to choose one. Slot unlocker gambits, buff gambits, vulnerability gambits. Slot unlocker, buff gambits. Let's go buff gambits. We wake him up. 20% chance uh, 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 to cast attack boost for 5 seconds after spell cast. Nice. Uh, I see 20 percent chance to remove speed for 10 seconds after spell cast. I really believe we get both of these. I uh, see ground pound. Or light speed fist. Let's do ground pound because we're gonna be up in the air. We slam down and then we we'll get a move speed. I think that's good. Gives us an opportunity to get out of where we're, wherever we're slamming, right? And then this one, 20% uh, chance after cast. Uh, let's see, maybe this one. And then we'll look for some unlockers later. And now we're off to the boss room. First boss. You've already seen him, but now you get to see him in action. My body is ready. <laughs> We'll see. So even these little cutscenes that you're gonna get with uh, uh, with this guy showing up here, you can skip these if you want to kind of make your uh, your gameplay a little more fluid. Oh, this is new. Oh shit. Oh, I haven't fought her yet. Who is she supposed to be? Oh, is it Virgo? Oh man. Ah, uh, you're the one who shouts constantly. <laughs> hey, I have a name, <laughs> and it's Karen. Who the heck are you? Virgo. Let's deal with this quickly. I need silence. Oh, really? Well, I'll give you silence. Oh, yeah. Move speed. Ow. Okay, I don't know any of her moves, so this is gonna be... Oops, shit. Oh. Oh, goddamn. I'm out of juice. Build up juice, build up juice, build up juice, build up juice, build up juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two attacks on that. Boom, 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 boom. And then... Yeah, does those. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Got me with all of them, pretty much. Double attack. I need mana. Uh... Okay. Oh, that's a new thing. What is she doing? What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh hey, that was pretty good. Good, that was a good demonstration. Good demonstration. Uh, and so your 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 game loop is gonna take you back uh, to something you've able to garden. Uh, memory fragment. Okay, cool. That'll unlock some more currency. A new color. Ooh. And so usually when you get out of a match, it's gonna tell you where to go next, right? It's gonna say, okay, you're gonna go talk to so and so, uh, and get whatever thing you unlocked or whatever. You coming? You coming for a landing here? There we go. 
He's gonna say something. We got two of these things now. Right? Mm -hmm. You might want to visit Alun. Her fashion skills might cheer you up. Hell yeah, I didn't know we had a fashionista on board. Let's go. I believe we all have Oh, we already talked to her once. Mine is helping people like you improve their style. Ready for a oh, makeover? The first time I talked to her, she was like, you have to do something about those clothes, about the food stains. <laughs> of course she's the fashionista. Okay, buy a new dye colors for Ulun's assistant. Let me see, unlock a new color. Let's cook colors. Ooh, oh, Marsh, okay. Oh, okay, I don't get to choose the color. You can dye your clothes and hair with new unlocked color for Ulun. Okay, let's do it again. Ooh, rare, okay, okay. Whoa, it's like NFTs. <laughs> Let's see. So I was a hairstyle, right? So lavender hair. Ooh. Okay. Man, got the whole woke collection here. Let me see. Maybe go over here and uh, I can't change it because I don't have anything else. Okay. So change body parts. Yeah, I don't have any. Other. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of cosmetics you can unlock. Look at my look at my slang and purple hair though. Ooh ooh ooh. And over here we can go and spend some of these. Let me see. Nope. 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 Nothing new here. We go over to this side. See, it tells you where to go. It just tells you where to go. Talk to this person over here. No rewards for you. All right, all right. We just uh, we just find where we gotta go. This one, treasure hunter. We're sorry, we did get that one. It's nothing else. So we got 375. We come running, running over here. Whoop. In order to unlock some more. Wait, there's somebody else over here waiting for me. Oh, you? Yes, 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 yes. Wants to show me something new that I can unlock for my character, actually. Uh, let me see. So it's strike twice, and then there's this next one I got. So we'll take this one, and then this one's the next one we're gonna get. Sprint through baddies, sitting them ablaze along the way. So new spells you can unlock for this character. I would have words with you. Me? Nah, 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 nah. Nothing else here. And that's it. And then you go through and you do another. You do another run. That's it. Hold on. Who's this? I um, I don't want to impose. You know, I'll just stay here until I feel ready. Oh, okay. So he's gonna be one of the characters we unlocked. Oh, is this gems I can pick up? No, okay. And that's it! You'd go back in! Do another run. You could talk to to uh to, to I the wish character you knew here. How to make Ordon smile. Yeah, this her to swap if you'd like. Or you could do two player if you'd like. I have not tested that theory out, but Oh, I guess I can go back to that guy and get a uh, oh, memory unlocked or something like that. Get some more solar currency and move on. But that's the game. Beautiful music. Uh Good, decent replayability. It does feel like Hades. It does feel like uh, uh, like Dead Cells. Just a happier, more friendly, melancholy, you know, floundering through the forest, blowing up baddies, cute little baddies and everything. Um, the enemies do get more diverse as you move on. When you beat the first boss, you move on to the next zone, uh, which is a completely different tile set, new music, all that good stuff. So the game does have some diversity after that first level. And I don't know if you can actually go past that first, uh, skip this whole first uh, biome, uh, you know, through getting upgrades and whatnot. So I don't know if that's possible, but it has gotten a lot easier to get to that point because of all the upgrades that I've gotten. I started off with one status slot over here in the bottom left corner. Um, and you know, now I have three. Uh, there's uh, the, the, the inherent upgrades and the skills and everything that I've unlocked. So the game has gotten a little bit easier, um, allowing me to move uh, progress a little bit further each time. Uh, more health, all that good stuff helps as well. So yeah, I mean, it's solid game, solid game, $24.99. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's definitely on the, a little bit on the high end. Uh, we've, we've reviewed a couple of $24.99 games uh, recently. And, you know, 1999 is kind of our sweet spot for most indie games, especially roguelikes. Uh, but this one, you know, incorporates a lot of voice acting, a lot of story. And also, by the way, it's like Hades, where whenever you go and talk to an enemy, like a boss, like more than once, you know, kind of it's consecutively, they always have something new they want to say, right? They'll talk some new shit or something. Uh, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that it's not always the same thing every time I go in. And I've played enough times now with four or five runs or something uh, using basically the same characters. This is my favorite character out of the two. Um, and it's... It's, it's funny how many different quips they come up with. So so it's it's deep. It's deep. They do a good job. They put a lot of work into this. Art style, pixel graphics, uh, you know, all that stuff. A lot of work. A lot of work. So that's it. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. The game is called Astral Ascent. Check it out. Check it out right now on Steam. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Goodbye.